The presentation of the plaintiff's evidence continued on Wednesday in the lawsuit against JBS Pork by a group of Eldon residents. In the morning, Rod Miller, a plaintiff in the lawsuit, continued his testimony. Miller said that the smells from the nearby Warren barns, filled with hogs owned by JBS, are a nuisance to his everyday life. He says his wife can't even air dry clothes outside. It gets really bad, then you have no choice but to either rewash the clothes or smell like hogs. During cross-examination, JBS attorney Ryan Howe said that Miller was asking for $750,000 in the lawsuit, not for fewer pigs or reduced odors. A visibly frustrated Miller responded. If I could ask you right now, could you make that odor go away and make my family come back and visit me? And you can make that happen, we wouldn't be here today. Also testifying today was Art Halstead, a Cargill employee who oversees CAFOs, including the Warren site in Eldon. Plaintiff attorney Richard Middleton painted the picture to the jury that Cargill was not interested in implementing new technologies to manage odors for their pork production sites because no research department exists in the company. Middleton asked Halstead if odors from hog operations have potential to disrupt the use and enjoyment of nearby properties. I guess what my answer to that would be, that's why we have the separation distances and the, and the siting, um, you know, by the DNR through the state to uh, to limit, I guess, what you're saying would be the, the problems with use and enjoyment of your property. Halstead's testimony will continue Thursday morning in the Waplow County courtroom. Reporting in Atoma, Matt Filkey, KTVO News.